friends. Today I decided that I would do a lesson on compare and contrast. I know you've heard those words in the classroom before. Um, comparing and contrasting is telling how things are the same and how things are different. Also, a lot of times when you compare and contrast, you use this. Does this look familiar to anyone? Anybody know what this is called? Awesome, you're right. It's called a Venn diagram. If you would like to make a Venn diagram at home, I just suggest that you do two circles and they overlap each other in the middle. Okay? So, what are we going to be comparing today? Today we are going to be comparing, what are these? Socks. Great. So a lot of people have some mismatched socks in their house. I thought this was a great activity because anybody can go grab two socks and we can tell how they are the same and how they are different from one another. So I'm going to use my Venn diagram to tell how these socks are the same and how they are different from one another. So on one side, I'm going to have sock one, and over here I'm going to have sock number two. Anybody remember what goes in the middle of a Venn diagram? You're right, the things that are the same about them. So let me write sock one and sock two. And while I'm writing that, I want you guys to think of some reasons these are the same, these socks. All right, can anyone come up with a reason that these are the same? How are these socks the same? They are the same because... Do they look like they're both kids' socks? Look at the size of them. Do they look like they are small or do they look like they are big? These socks are small. They must be kids socks. They are both kids socks. What else could be the same about them? Hmm, what else could be the same about them? Are they both long socks or are they both short socks? What do we think? This is about the size of them again. Oh, I heard it. Good job. They're both short socks. Good job. Something else that makes these the same. Remember, they are the same because... They are the same because... Do they both have a little bit of blue in them? They both have blue in them? Hmm, we could say that. Blue. They are both have blue. Alright. So those are three things that are the same. They are the same because they are both kid socks. They are both short socks or little socks or ankle socks. They are the same because they both have blue in them. All right, great job working on the same, my friends. Let's see how these socks are different. Look at the two socks. How are they different? I'll give you a minute to think about that. They are different because. Hmm, how are these socks different? Oh, I heard someone say one is only one color. Which one of them would be only one color? I think this one. So sock number one is only one color. What color do we decide? This was a little blue, right? Blue. If this one only has one color, what does this one have? This one has pink and blue and orange and white. So pink, blue, orange, white. 
This sock has four colors. Awesome job, guys. How are they different? Oh, someone said, this sock has stripes or lines. Great job. This sock has lines. You are correct. So sock number two has lines or stripes. If this has stripes or lines, does anybody know what we call a sock with nothing on it, with only one color? We would call this a solid color. Try and say the word solid color. Great job, my friends. Can anybody tell me anything else about these socks? How they are different from one another? I think you guys did an awesome job for today. So remember, when you're talking about how they are the same, it's how they are alike. What is the same about them? What do they have in common? They are both kid socks. They are both short socks, ankle socks, and they both have blue in them. How are they different? They are different because... Sock number one only has one color. It's a solid color. This is sock number one. Sock number two is different because... They are different because sock number two has four colors in it. It also has lines and stripes. And remember, this one is solid. This one has stripes. This one has four colors. This one only has one color. That is how they are different. You guys did an excellent job today. My task for you is to go find two objects in your house. It can be two different bowls. It can be two different items of food. It can be two different socks, two different writing utensils, two different movies. Go compare them. See if you can teach someone the sentences, they are the same because, they are different because. Go do this activity with someone you live with. Thanks for joining me. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.